am on my way to my doctor's office to weigh in today. Today is February 3rd. It's noon. I just got off work and I feel like I gained. So we shall see. I'm going straight to the doctor's office and it's the day after the Super Bowl. That's all I have to say about that. Okay, four pound weight gain, however, whatever, um, I, I found these Premier Protein with oats, and it comes in apple cinnamon and blueberries and cream, and I'm going to try it, because I'm really excited, I'm really, really getting tired of the um, chocolate vanilla, stuff like that, so I'm excited about that. Hey guys, so today is February 15th, and I thought I'd see what these are all about. They look good. So, how to put the camera down so that I can open it. But this is the apples and cinnamon. I'm gonna give this a shot. Um, apples and cinnamon premier protein oats. It's oat fiber, so let's give it a shot. That's very apple cinnamony. It reminds me of Quaker Apples and cinnamon oatmeal with uh, with milk in it. It's really good. Mm, that's really good. Today is February seventeenth, and it is Monday. So let's weigh it today. seven pounds last week that's exciting I feel better I lost three pounds including the four that I gained the week before so I'm excited hey guys so today is Monday February 24th and um, I have my nine months post-op appointment with my dietitian today so um, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna talk to her about um, keeping on track and you know making sure I get all my fluids in and stuff like that. So, um, I am going to talk to them because I have had an unusual amount of bruising all over my body. The tiniest little boop and, and I bruise. Um, my, uh, we were letting the kids play outside and the, the mosquitoes were coming out. So we had to come inside and I noticed there were some in my house. So we got a fly swatter and I was just, you know, killing them around the house. And then I sat down and my mom noticed that there was one on my shoulder. Well, I still had the fly swatter. She just, she just went up and went like that. And now I have a huge bruise on my shoulder right here. And it literally was just, she didn't even like wallop me. So I have a video of my leg. That is intense. My The bruise on my leg is pretty intense. So I'm going to talk to her about that because I put it on the Facebook page and apparently multiple people have said, yeah, that's happened to me. So I don't understand because I'm taking all my medication and I'm taking my iron pill and I'm taking a multivitamin with iron in it um, because of what has happened to me in the past with my blood and everything like that I don't play around with stuff like that and it's a lot of bruising so I only showed one leg and my arm but <sighs> hmm. so I'm gonna update you guys when I get out hey guys so I just got done with my appointment and I asked the dietitian so first of all I am at 343 I don't even see, um, yeah. Yay. Um, but I asked the dietitian about the, um, bruising, and she said it could be a different, couple different factors. Because I've had the, um, anemia issues in the past, it could be that. Um, I am taking my pills, so she doesn't know if it is or not. Um, she said also the reason why it is kind of common for people to have bruising around this time is because you have rapid weight loss so you lose the fat protectant and 
your um, veins aren't used to that. So she said it could be that. Um, we went over my health and how much, um, you know, protein I'm getting, how much water I'm getting, making sure everything like that is fine. And she said everything is perfect. Um, it's just the bruising. She doesn't understand where that's coming from. So I have to call my general, um, my primary care physician and see if she'll do some blood work. If not, then, um, she'll here at the surgical center, they'll, they'll do blood work, but they don't recommend that blood work getting done until one year post-op. So I still have three months left. She's, she's afraid it might be a little too early for my one year post-op blood work to get done. That's why I'm trying to go through my primary care physician. So don't know why I'm bruising yet, but as soon as we figure out the blood work, I'll know. But I'm excited. I am down to 343, which means that I've lost a total of 174 pounds. And I cannot flip and wait until I'm at 200 pounds down. I'm, I'll be really excited. So, um, I'm really happy with how far I've come so far and about how I'm doing with my protein and water. So, hey guys. So, today is February 29th, and I have some updates. So I went to my primary care physicians on today's Saturday and I went there on Thursday and I told her what was going on with my bruising and stuff like that. At first she was like, it's just because you're anemic. And I'm like, but I was anemic before, uh, worse than now. And she's like, oh, you were so worse than right now. Cause I, she tested my blood and it was at 10.9. And I said, but I haven't been bruising except for the last three weeks. I don't know what's different. And she asked me some weird questions like, do I have acid reflux? Do I, um, do my gums bleed while I brush them? Stuff like that. And I was like, no to both. So she's like, hmm, okay. So I showed her my paper that the doctor gave me that needs to have, you know, what in my vitamins. And she said, oh, you don't have any vitamin K in your system. Cause she looked at my previous, uh, blood work. And I was like, what do you mean? And she's like, you have no vitamin K. And I said, so does that mean that I just need to take some potassium? Because, you know, that's K on the periodic table. And she's like, no, it's vitamin K. And I was like, okay, so like, do I just get prescribed vitamin K? And she's like, nope, I need you to take a blood test. And I'm like, okay, that's totally fine. I'll take a blood test. I went the next day and they took 13 vials of my blood. And I had to do a breath something, something, something test where I take a breath in and I hold it for six seconds and then I blow into this little bag and then she screws it on. And then I have to drink this liquid in less than two minutes, which was hard and it made me want to vomit. But I had to drink the liquid and then wait 15 minutes and take a breath in, hold six seconds and then blow into a different bag. I have no idea what that is. It's apparently it's supposed to like see if I have any um any um like bacteria in my stomach that could cause my bleeding but she said vitamin K is what helps your blood to clot so me not having any in my system she said it could it's one of those very rare possibilities after surgery but with anything my entire flipping after surgery experience has been what could go wrong is going wrong so we won't know for sure until all of the blood work gets back but I wanted to give an update I do have um, some exciting news I weighed myself on Thursday at the primary care physicians and I am 341 now so I've lost a total of 13 pounds in the month of February. So that's pretty cool. It's um, just about a pound every other day. So that's exciting. I like that a lot. So um, I will update you guys in the next video as far as like all of my blood work is done. So yeah, just yay. <laughs> hey guys, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter 
And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video.